Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Loop. So welcome to the channel and let's get straight into it. As you can see over here, I'm in office.com and I'm in the App Store. And if you just go up to the top of the search bar over here and you type in Loop, and you will end up in this page over here. And all you need to do is sign in with your Microsoft account. And um, this is the opening page. So basically what they've given you here is a getting started. So it's like a, a, a roundup of, you know, how to actually use the app, right? But it's very, very simple and it's straightforward. So we're going to start at the beginning and we're going to just tap on loop icon over here and it'll give you the option to create a workspace. Now, if you've ever used a CRM or a CSM or anything like that, it's more or less the same. Up at the top over here, you're going to say create new workspace and you will now be able to go ahead and rename your workspace. So, of course, we're going to go how to harbor and we can then also just add a, an emoji onto that. We're going to now tap on create and here we are. OK, so of course, you can add your icon, you can add a cover image and then you can give it a title. So we're going to call it video production and you can just start putting information in over here right so let's say we don't want to do it like this let's say that we just want to make our lives a whole lot easier at the bottom there's a blank page and then there are a bunch of templates and just under that it says template gallery so let's have a look there's a project brief you can see over here there's a bunch of different things that you can use and i'm going to go ahead and use project planning because that's what i am wanting to do I would like to plan my video production. So this is the template. OK, and of course, you get to put in all of your own information in here. And we're going to tap on use this template. And you can see now we can add all of our own information. So we've got our little icon, our cover image. Uh, we've got our heading over here, which we can add in there. We can go how to harbor and then you can give it uh, a little title so we can go video production and we can now start handing out roles uh, we can enter assignees and as we go down over here we can enter all the other relevant information now if you're going through this and you're obviously going to make all of this your own um, once you are done you can now uh, add people to this workspace so if you just go up to share and we are going to say workspace you can share the workspace itself you can share just a link to this page and then you can loop a component which means you embed and provide access to this page in supported microsoft 365 apps such as team or OneNote or so forth all right, so once we are done here, we can now go ahead on the left hand side and we can add pages if we'd like to. So let's add a new page. And this is our page over here. Again, we can choose a template. So let's just use this one over here. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. And you can go ahead and of course, you can enter all of these components. Um, you can change them all around. You can move them around. You can add new components over here and you can organize your whatever you're doing, whatever tasks you're doing, whether it's personal, uh, whether it's for business, for work. And uh, no matter how many team members you have, you can have all of these team members work on this same space at the same time. Now, if this video was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like to show your support, and we'll see you next time. Peace.